welcome back to another video. Sit back, relax, enjoy the show. Me is so quick with the uploads. Intro's over. Subscribe before you go. So today, I've got an easy little project that I'm gonna be doing. Okay, so I bought these bad boys. Whew. I bought these about, I don't know. I really don't know. I bought them when they came out. You know what? Let me check, when did these come out? Hold on a second. Okay, that took a while. So these are, <laughs> the Spike Lee Do the Right Thing version that came out in 2008, which makes sense because I was in, I was in college and I was rocking a size eight and a half men's. And they just look like boats on my feet. So I didn't wear them often. So if you look at them, I mean, for the most part, these things are like brand new condition. And all it is is this little yellowing kind of on this little grid part. And there's a bit of a there's a bit of chipping as you can see all here. So that's what I wanna um, go ahead and fix. So I'm gonna clean these bad boys up and you see like, I don't know if you can tell, but the tongue is, tongue is dirty as hell on this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the right thing and clean these bad boys up and put them back out there on the street. So watch me work. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna do, we're gonna delace these bad boys and then we're gonna clean them up to see, you know, everything that we're working with. All right, let's do it. All right, now that we're done with the laces, we can see what we're working with. And that tongue, tongue is pretty, pretty, pretty yellow, but um, all together, it's, it's crazy, it's not too bad, but yeah, I like never wore these and yet they still, they still yellowed over time, so wear your shoes, man. All right, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean them and yes, I'm pretty ghetto, so I'm gonna use some dish liquid, okay? Mm -hmm. Now that I got them all cleaned up, um, next thing is gonna be um, getting off this old, this old chip paint. Yeah, it's peeling. We gotta get that off. So, what you're gonna need is some cotton balls, and you're also gonna need some 100% acetone. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is get the cotton balls, get the acetone, and I'm gonna rub off pretty much that where this paint is all chipped off. I'm going to take off that whole bottom white part down here and the blue that's all peeling. Pretty much the whole upper of the shoe is all good minus this, uh, this little grid that I'll probably take care of at the very end. Alright, let's go ahead and jump into that. Okay, so my next step is going to be, I'm gonna cover all of this in a base layer of white, and then after I'll do the second part in blue after I do coat of white. All right, so let's get that.
the second coat of white on the bottom. After all my coats are done, it's looking pretty good for the white. Yeah, my white is looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and hit up the blue and I'm gonna use the Angelus blue. Hopefully it matches because I really, yeah, there's no other options. All right, let's do this. what we look like after the first coat uh way more brush strokes than uh, i would care to like okay but uh, i was trying to make sure i really cut that line and didn't touch the white so uh the more coats i apply the darker it's gonna get and hopefully we'll match that uh original color we had so here we're going with my second coat it's probably gonna be about four <laughs> all right all right so there is the blue it looks pretty good i'm gonna go in i've got to do some cleanup areas so all i'm gonna do is get some of that and get it on a little detail brush or in a cotton ball little q-tip and uh gonna go ahead and clean up some of those areas Okay, so now that the cleanup's all good, I'm gonna go ahead and attack this little grid. All right, and then I'm just gonna go in with the, uh, I guess I'm gonna just go in with the white and see how it, see how it turns out, how it looks with it. That looks better. Yeah, that looks better already. As you can see my my jump man is a little busted okay he, he's missing some body parts so I'm gonna go in with this Arteza fabric paint and I'm just gonna use this little dotting tool that I use when I do my nails to go ahead and fill in the gaps I'm not like too stressed out if this comes out perfect because I'm pretty sure this whole thing is gonna be covered up by my shoelaces but let's see if we can get this to look any better than what it already is So 
So as you can see, that looked like for the most part it did the trick. And as I said, it's going to be covered up by shoelaces, so I'm not tripping that much. So also because this is a fabric paint, I am going to go ahead and heat set it just to make sure that it doesn't move. Now for the last thing, I'm going to go in with this acrylic finisher. The shoes were originally kind of shiny on the bottom, so I didn't use the matte finisher. So I just got this uh, paintbrush. I just used the littlest bit of amount and I just applied a literal thin coat on top of the parts where I painted. all done here we go here are my air jordan 4 spizites do the right things all right that were released in 2008 and i think they look good all right once again thank you guys for watching my video and sticking around be sure to hit the like if you actually like this video or share it with other people who you think would be interested and don't forget to subscribe all right peace